Hello there everybody and welcome back to Awakening the Dreamless Castle. Right now we are in the Great Hall. And we want to go upstairs but it's blocked by some sort of magic power force. So let's just grab the spear and uh, head over here I believe. We have some puzzles we can solve in this area. And I forgot about this. My mistake. Okay, so you see this statue, right? Nice statue of the princess. We have a bow and arrow. And we have a chain. Cool, cool. So we can use those things in this area. So, like, we could use the chain here to get a prism. And let me see. We have a dagger here. You'll notice we have a lot of weapons. We have the dagger, the mace, the axe. Those are all for a puzzle which is coming up right here. So this guy needs a mace. This guy needs a bow. This guy needs the dagger. Let's see, this guy wants, uh, let me see. Well, this one wants the sword. This one wants an axe. Okay, so now we have all the weapons on the uh, various suits of armor. So let's check the stained glass window for another one of these puzzles where you have to uh, move everything around. Just make the picture, it's not too complicated. We have the princess when she was a baby and she's sleeping with her little teddy bears. And it's cute. So let me see, we have these four designs. They have to go in the four corners. I mean, come on. Looks like we have the fairies. You know, the fairy queen is on the top. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So we have a picture and you'll notice we have the various suits of armor, you know. So you want to make those suits of armor look like they do in the picture. Okay, so let me see, uh, we have that. And what was this one? This one was, uh, let me see. Uh, the one on the left is looking right, everybody else looks forward. And the brick pattern is this to get me the final prism. Right, that's the final prism. I'm not missing a prism, am I? Hint fairy, am I missing anything? No, I'm not missing anything. Thank you, hint fairy. Doo, 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 doo. Nothing in here, nothing in here. You know, I can't help but think that maybe I'm missing a prism. Ooh, yeah, there was a prism in this puzzle, wasn't there? So remember this, in the mirror room, we had one, three, four, five, two. So that's one, three, four, five, two. All right, so that's how you get those three prisms. And here's Sophia, Sophia. And we have the prism picture. I'm sure you can figure this out on your own. Okay, make this look like the picture and we can go upstairs. And there's something buried here. So yeah, let's go upstairs, get some gloves. And use the gloves to get this thing, which is some sort of handle. And let me see, puzzles in this room. Uh, another, another puzzle where you have to get all the uh, pictures in place, huh? There sure are a lot of those puzzles in this game. It's not so bad. Uh, in the sequel, I think you have like twice as many puzzles where you just uh, have to use jigsaw magic in order to get everything where it's supposed to go. And that is a real pain. So let me see. Um, here, perhaps? Yes. Clearly we have some sort of circular border. And 
there we go. It gives us a butterfly net. So we can get these keys which have appeared right now. So use the butterfly net to get the keys, the flying keys. This is a matching challenge. Just find a bunch of pairs. And the final one is this key. This key right here, which will open the door and let us go to the next room. But we have another puzzle. We want to make the uh, feathers match on the right and left wings of this uh, griffin. All right, and this gives us, it gives us something. It gives us a coin and it gives us some uh, magic potion. Very nice. Okay, so now we're ready to go on to the next room, the art gallery, where we can solve some puzzles, but I think first we want to talk to this dude. Oh, great, another one of these puzzles. Um, let me see, I think we'll start with uh, getting rid of the white ones. Uh, looks like brown is a group. Uh, looks like the red ones are a group, so let's get rid of those. Black ones are a group. Green, blue, and black, alright. Okay, what about this? Uh, red. Green. Black. Green. And I'm stuck, right? Blue. Yep, stuck. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe it's green, green, red. Then black. Then blue, white. Oh, okay. So, uh, clearly, I'm getting stuck with these blue guys here. These ones here. So let's get rid of them. No, I can't get rid of them there yet. Uh, green. Okay, what if I do this? Get rid of those blacks there. So I get the middle row of whites. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's the solution. Okay, this uh, red is by itself. Uh, white is by itself. Hmm, green perhaps? Then green, get rid of all these greens. Brown, blue, brown. Okay, there we go. Okay, kind of tricky for a moment there, but we managed to solve the puzzle. And we get a long and complicated puzzle in return. Okay, so black and blue, they stood with heads bowed. Okay, so that's just the first line. Black and blue with heads bowed. So, black, blue, black, blue, black, and they all need to have their heads bowed, which means they're facing down. Then second, the brown soldiers look up high. So, all these things are brown and they're looking up. The blue looked up bravely while the black stayed down. So these blue, guy, these blue guys are up, black ones are down, and the browns look down. So everything on the bottom is a brown, which is down. All right. We got something useful, hooray! So we can use that here. Use the handle here, and we get a coin! All right, another coin. Uh, we have this uh, vegetable puzzle. This, we have a um, hidden objects puzzle again, obviously. Bell, sunflower, caterpillar, coin, caterpillar. Pocket watch, egg, crown. If you've played the second game in the series, these uh, creatures might look a little bit familiar to you. And a mushroom. 
Okay, so we have all three coins. Fantastic. But we have another puzzle. Another puzzle. Yes, indeed. Another puzzle. How unexpected. So with this puzzle, you basically want to move things around in all of the pictures. Until all of the pictures go together perfectly. So for example, um, this one on the right, it appears to be some sort of angel, I guess. We have dark red in this picture. Okay, good. Looks like that picture is finished. That goes there. Okay, uh, almost done with some of these. This is the angel's arm. Alright, looks like we're uh, really close to finishing. Alright, there we go, and we get a dial! Fantastic, very nice. So let me see, I've got a couple more uh, puzzles I'll solve and then I'll end this video. Maybe not a couple more puzzles, basically just one, the basket. I have the basket. So let's solve that uh, single basket puzzle, which requires you to go all the way back here to the fairy ring. And this is another repeat the pattern puzzle. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty simple. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, thank goodness. But it's not over. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's really tough. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you get one of the answers wrong, a mushroom disappears from your uh, little basket and you have to do it again. Not very nice. Oh well. Okay, okay, so we've solved uh, pretty much all the puzzles over here in the Great Hall and all the uh, places above. In the next video, we will go through this area, where of course, we have more puzzles, more puzzles over here in the astronomy area.